Hey there, uh, thanks for tagging along. Uh, warming up, it's uh, talking sort of 38 or 9 degrees today, so and it would be that's pretty still, not a lot of breeze. Um, yeah, I don't know what we are, two o'clock, something like that. Uh, Tony's here, we've got fertilizer coming tomorrow, so we um, washed some field bins out early. Uh, so we've got, I think there's 44 tonne coming tomorrow. Uh, and here yeah, Brendan's down just doing fire breaks. I'm here, uh, if you've been watching along, um, we made up an adapter to fit the John Deere corn front onto the case header. So this is it in its fullest glory. Um, I think at the end of the last one, uh, I hadn't, we had, this is the, actually it's actually upside down. Um, we had about a 10 mil step between the front and the feeder house, so we've just welded a bit of 10 mil flat bar in there, and then I cut that plate out and um, just to reinforce around the, the bush where it, it swings, um, and then yeah, just a couple of strips in there just um, just for feel good more so than anything. But anyway, so yeah, just going to give it a coat of jam. So we've got some red paint here, and uh, yeah, but we've got it around here on the wash bay. Um, just so it doesn't cut every, cover everything in red paint. I've just got to do a couple of jobs here to the compressor to get the um, so we can plug the hose reel into it, and uh, yeah, then we should be good to go. Done. <clears throat> Don't look too closely because I'm not a painter of any um, situation at all. So anyway, it'll just stop it going rusty and looking a bit untidy. But uh, yeah, should be alright. So it'll get oven baked today with the sun. So um, yeah, it should be alright. But yeah, he runs, so that's alright. So it looks better than what it did before. Anyway, so I just need to. I think I, meant, I did mention. Once we get it on the front, we just need to, um, yeah, make up some locks or something to stop the stop them from coming apart, coming open. So, may even because <coughs> they're spring loaded, like a gate, well, they're a gate latch. May even make a bar to go between them that we just bolt in there, um, and that stops them, you know, working their way open or something. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, job's right. Hello Jessica. It's hot, isn't it? Uh, yesterday we slipped over. We've, we were going to um, use our strip at the front, but as I mentioned, I was a bit concerned about the losses that we get out of that front. So neighbour had this little 20 foot front um, that we've borrowed. It's an older style, um, what sort of we call a tin front. Um, it doesn't have any draper mats in the bottom of it. It's just got this big table auger that works the product to the middle and end of the machine um, and then it's got what they call a vibramat. The rice being quite green when we harvest it tends to want to sit on the knife a bit so that mat just moves with the knife which you'll see in time and it just shakes it uh, into the front so uh, uh, I think they had it on a 7140 in the past which was similar to our 7088 that we had um, so yeah we've robbed the Rob the quick coupler off the windrail front, um, but we just need a couple of fittings um, to adapt it up, and then, you know, apart from running it and giving it a grease, we're sort of good, to, should be good to go. That PDA shaft was seized, so Tony got it apart. But uh, yeah, the headers, we've got to get these concaves made up, and then the, the, um, the headers right to go. So, yeah, there's a bit to do there yet, too, just quietly. Right. So this is the division, I'm inside the tipper on the truck, so this is the division um, and what we do is we put um, seed in this side 
and then we put fertiliser on the other side, uh, and then we've got a pipe um, from this front division that runs to the back, and then at the back we've got the electric door with the remote control um, that we can open and close individually for when we're filling the air seater. So air seater's got an auger on it, so we just back up to the air seater. And yeah, that's how we fill it. So um, we've just got these, we lifted this in, we had to bring it through the back door yesterday. Um, so I'm just gonna finish off, uh, yeah, just screwing, screwing this on, these straps on, and then yeah, run a bit of elastic around the, the bottom and um, yeah, in, under here and that sort of stuff just to seal it up because we don't, don't want um, seed mixing with the fertiliser um, because obviously <coughs> the fertiliser we don't clean out till the end of sowing but obviously the seed when we've got different varieties of wheat and then obviously the barley, um, yeah we don't want to mix up so anyway we'll get to it. All done, tube of silicon and uh, yeah, a few, um, it should seal up alright with a bit of luck so it's just that sort of joint around the bottom where the floor's a bit wonky in the truck and because um, we've got that curved edge, you can see there, but just getting that to marry up to is a bit, a bit tricky, but anyway, um, so yeah, we'll actually, because we're a bit jammed for room, we'll put fertiliser in this tomorrow, so that's why we're sort of getting it organised now, but um, yeah, it's a job that needed doing anyway, because um, sowing is rapidly approaching, so just trying to take a few of, that, a few of these ones off. It's getting pretty cl close to knock off time, I still got a bit yet, Tony's knocked off. Um, so next job with the header is um, you're getting these concaves made up. <coughs> these are the ones we damaged uh, with the PDR show shaft going through the machine. So we've just sort of resurrected them. Um, I do need a bit of panel beating, a couple of spots there that'll need straightening up. And then what we've got is some 16 mil um, 1045 shaft. Um, that we're going to cut into little lengths and basically we'll put them back in where um, those slat bars came out. So we've just been back to Ogatani to uh, cut the, the bars out the other day and yeah, I'll just have the oxy going, just trimming them up a bit more so I haven't got so much to grind out because it's, um, yeah, it's going to be a bit here on the grinder. Uh, but they are, hopefully, I've got a steel top bench there. And what I'm planning to do is to get them straight I'll clamp them down to the bench and then weld the rods in and hopefully, I don't know, it's probably a bit hard to tell but that one is quite badly twisted. Um, so hopefully I can, uh, if I get these, these edges here straight um, and then I'll clamp it down to the bench and even if I weld it to the bench and then weld the rods in and hopefully it'll, uh, they'll, stay, they'll stay in shape once the, with the rods welded in. So there's a few to go in. We put those round bars at, at uh, I think 16 mil apart, so I'll make a little jig up. Um, I have done a set before with our old header, um, but they're just they're good good for um, in the, in the rice and in the corn. They just um, the you seem to get a, because well, especially rice where the the drawer is green. If I can get it out, sorry. Uh, yeah, you don't, they seem to, normal concaves, they seem to block up, so those those fancy ones that we normally run, um, they wouldn't be any use, so we're going to run, we're going to run the, the load, lots of ones we did in the back, I've got another set here I'm going to need to make, and I've, I've owned the set I had, um, so I've got to get them back, um, and then yeah, Tony's going to get these couple fittings, and little red head is about ready to go we might wash a bit of bird shit and dust off it um, and yeah chuck jam some fuel in it and yeah it's it's right when the when uh, the crop's ready which is it's still a bit away but yeah be one less job we've got to worry about Next, going with the double hearing earplugs and earmuffs because nine inch grinders are, are really noisy and welding gloves <laughs> I've done one 
side. Um, so you yeah, just lift it over. You're probably standing up. It's pretty monotonous that, but uh, yeah, they're about four grand a pair. So um, yeah, it's worth the mucking around to do it. Save a few bucks. But I think I've actually ended up with a bit of steel on my eye. Bloody joys of using nine-inch grinders. So maybe a trip to the optometrist in the morning to get it dug out. Anyway, I'll go and wash my face and see how it comes up. Afternoon. So it's been a couple of days since we started this one. Uh, Sarah and I and the kids actually went to Melbourne and yeah, went down and watched Pink um, at uh, one of the stadiums in Melbourne. So yeah, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's the first time the kids have we've had them at live music. Um, it was a little bit overwhelming for them to start with. I think just being in a stadium that big with that many people and fair bit going on um, but yeah they soon got into the groove and were singing and dancing so uh, yeah a bit of fun we we're Sarah and I a bit of live music music live music music if you can get it out tragics um, yeah been fortunate to see quite a lot of live music over the years and yeah it's one thing we really enjoy doing and try and do go and watch you know a couple of a couple of concerts a year if we can uh, so back to the farming job we're back we're here we're just going to try and burn some of this canola stubble the sabo has cooled down a lot and um, a bit of cloud cover which is good. I don't know, it'll be low 20s probably. Um, we have got a bit of breeze so which will be good because we'll probably need a bit of breeze behind it to get it to burn. This is some of the stuff, burning is one of my least favourite jobs or burning off is one of our least favourite jobs but um, this is some of the stuff that we pre-irrigated last year and then it got too wet and we couldn't get an in-crop spray on it. Um, yeah, and we won't be able to get a lot of rye grass and that sort of stuff underneath. It has had the sheep across it. They've done a pretty good job, but uh, we're just trying to get a bit better of a clean up. Uh, so what we've got is we basically have got a diesel petrol mix, um, and then we've got this drip torch or firebug sort of gizmo that I'll I'll show you once we get it going um, how it works. Uh, tractor and water cart. So we just put the water cart up behind the tractor. Just um, We've just seen it works a bit better. It's um, and especially in this job, just uh, the tractor will do 55 kilometres an hour, so it's plenty quick enough, and it's a bit easier than on, it's a bit hard on the utes. So there's a couple of thousand litres of water there, uh, and then one of the, the guys are grabbing one of the little fire trucks and going to bring it round. We'll just leave it here just in case we we need it, but we shouldn't we should be right for what we've got to do. Touch wood. We've only got um, there's about 30 hectares to do, but we do have some in around some trees. Um, but it's all been, um, all the trees have got a fire break and that random, so we'll be pretty careful once we get it going. But uh, yeah, hopefully it, uh, it all goes to plan, but fingers crossed we'll be right. Pulled up to fuel the fire bug up again, so we've got a fair bit of smoke and not a heap of fire. So sort of got head of trails. You can see just there where it's just burning a strip um, along the paddock. So I've sort of been running up and down. I'm trying to get it to to go. Like the rest of it, we'll probably whether we run the harrows over it and just smash what's the remaining up. It's just these bad patches of rye grass that the machine the cedar won't go through. So we'll just see. We may even might even run the multi disc over it over this stuff once it's burnt, um, just to try and scatter the stuff around a bit. Going to um, clean this to free water, so you can see the grounds. She's quite dry again, so uh, yeah, we'll probably pre-water it next week is the plan, depending on how quickly we can sort of get it knocked into shape. Uh, and then yeah, we can clean this to so grazing, uh, grazing weed in here, so I sort of want to get it 
get a gun if we can so we can get get that bead up and uh, on its way. Uh, so the boys are knocked off. Um, we sort of had a couple more to do, but we're gonna. Just there's a few trees and that in there, but the sheep have been camping in round here, so it is pretty bare. So it probably won't burn all that well, and it's it has cooled off quite a bit. Uh, yeah, so we just thought we'd pull the pin. Um, I've come over from the sort of bench over. I'm just going to cut a bit of firewood and keep an eye on it for now. Um, but yeah, it's pretty pretty safe. It's not going to go far. So uh, yeah, anyway, uh, burning 101, 101. But yeah. Uh, not a lot of fun, especially canola stubbles, stuff. There's a lot of smoke and not a lot of fire, and it's um, yeah, everything just smells like smoke. So, okie dokie, that'll do. We'll uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Ta da!